What's up guys, we're here at AMC Town Square with Chase and Cinema. Mr. James Shu. Canton, Dallas, and we're here to talk about Ooh. something I'm extremely excited about. It's not available at AMC Town Square yet. As of right now, it is only available in two theaters, and that is Suncoast and Green Valley Ranch. But no, depending on where you're from, and what country, and what state, and what city you're at, you may be able to see Rooney Mars, brand new, with Casey Affleck. A ghost story. Um, so, this is a movie where we had Atomic Blonde, which I could sort of recommend. Da, 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 you can see our review up there. You can see Emoji Movie, which I don't recommend, which you could also see our review for. This is a movie that I incredibly highly need to recommend. Like non-negotiable, non-debatable. Non-negotiable, non-debatable. Though I will give the disclaimer that this is not a movie that I find everyone will like. It is a very, um, it's non-linear, meaning it's not like your traditional ABC story. Mm -hmm. You know, it is a little bit different. It is a bit more of an art house movie. Uh, it's a lot of sitting and just being in the moment. Uh, like I was telling you guys, there's I think there's about a five to seven minute scene of just watching Rudy Mara eat a pie. Yeah, being really upset and I mean it's a really beautiful scene in the moment but when you describe it to someone it seems like oh okay and then five minutes doesn't ever seem as long as it does when you're actually sitting there and you're watching it take place but let me tell you um, easily one of the best films of the year I mean this movie is so moving and it's it's one that has a, a pretty fairly simple story um, and but then it kind of gets a lot bigger it's a movie that uh, asks a lot more questions than it does answers them. I mean, it makes you think about time, makes you think about life, makes you think about you know alternate universe and, and love and, and what our purpose is and um, kind of the if what we do here in our time is important or not or, or if our, if we actually mean if life means anything. And it asks these really big questions in a very clever way. Um, and it's it's the movie. Which I don't want to, if you don't know anything about it, and if you've not seen the trailer, which is a pretty interesting trailer, and watching it, I think you get a little bit of mixed feeling. Um, I'd recommend you don't. I, remember, I recommend you going blind, because, I mean, the payoff, I think, is really strong. But this is also a movie where it's incredibly quiet. So I do caution you that don't go into this movie with a huge bag of popcorn and disrupt it. I mean, this is a movie where it's very quiet. You want to be in a very intimate setting. So a theater is a great, if everyone around you is very respectful, that's my only disclaimer I keep telling everyone because if you go into a theater and someone's got a big popcorn or they're munching on stuff and like there's just quiet so throughout this movie, it really kind of kills the mood because it is a tone that you need to be a part of. And then if you just need to stay there. Um, but I mean, I found the performances moving. I mean, um, there's so much uh, intrigue here. And you know, like, and, and, and you know, everyone says the movie critical, you gotta love the art house stuff. And I always think of The Tree of Life. His movie has a lot of kind of parallels to The Tree of Life, which I was not a fan of. And mm. I could see people connecting these two movies where I think a ghost story is much more easy to digest. I think anyone could watch it and could understand what's going on. But it's up to them to kind of take what the movie is putting in front of them to. Um, really pull from what, we, what you should be thinking about. I mean, it is a really a great thinking piece, and it's done beautifully. The whole movie is kind of shot in an old school way. It's not widescreen, you know. It's this classic old um, the box, like a box but, box, but more, but more like home video style. Like the movie feels, the movie is shot like it is, is not as far as like how VHS, it looks, like you're watching a home video. And because it is about this couple's lifestyle mm. and this couple's life together sort of for a very short period of time and then it kind of just talks about where life goes beyond and, and, and I think it's a really really challenging movie uh, if you allow it to be or it could be a movie that you're just like I don't under I mean there's some there's there are two or three parts where you're kind of like I don't know where this is going but It'll it all, be it all like kind an of stellar makes moment for me. There was a few parts in there. I was just like, "What the heck is?" Going well, I, on? I won't. I don't want to say anything that would give anything away. But there, I mean, this is a movie you should see if you're in the mood to be kind of challenged by a film and not just have a popcorn experience. I think this is the movie to see if you want to see something really artful. I think this is the movie to see. Rooney Mara. Woo. Honestly, I think my favorite movie of the year so far. This one. Yeah, I mean, I really love this movie. I felt it was powerful. I felt it was moving. I felt it was touching. Um, Better everything, than the everything big you stick. want. Uh, yeah, The Big Sick, I really, I mean, there are so many movies that I, I really enjoyed this year. But yeah, I think A Ghost Story has been on my mind nonstop since I've seen it. And I actually saw it quite a while ago. Um, I'm really, really uh, excited to see it again. Baron Colossal. Yeah, probably better than Colossal. I mean, again, I always say this, you know, 
the longer you go without, the easier you are to kind of say that. So I always try to watch what my top 10 or what I imagine be at the end of the year to kind of really compare them side by side by side. But a ghost story has been the one that has, I think, impacted me the most and has been on my mind the most. Not to take anything away from Colossal, which I think is amazing, or The Big Sick, but those three are completely, those three movies are so different. Yeah, they are, or at least. Um, I mean, and, and Ghost Story is probably the, the first very strong um, dramatic movie in my list because it was Colossal, which is kind of a dark comedy, which you don't find. Uh, Get Out, which is a horror comedy. Uh, and, and then you have this, which is a Big Sick, also a romance comedy. I mean, this is just something completely different. But I really hope you guys go check out because you think it deserves your money. You think they're going to make a, a push for Rooney Mara for Best Actress? No. No? It wasn't that good? Not her performance? No, she's fine in the movie. She's just not in it as much as you'd think. Oh. She is, she is top build. But I, I mean, without giving too much away, I think she's only in a fraction of the movie. Okay, I'm losing interest very quickly. Don't, because I mean, it's going to be one of the best experiences of the year. Love it. All right, you get seven minutes of her eating pie. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. And it's not long, like you know, it's not like this three-hour diatribe. It, it's very concise, and it's, it's, it's a great movie. You just gotta, it's just go in there expecting. Not expecting to be spoon-fed like a lot of hot. Yeah, I don't want to cheat on AMC Town Square. So I'm waiting for it to come here. Well, hopefully, if you if if you at home, here, you know, because Shu is in such a a hard a hard, it's called hard place. Um, it's called you, loyalty. You, the fans out there, need to go see this movie so it expands and then it opens up here at AMC. So, so James Shu can go see it. Hey. Um, no, but really, go see it. One of the best of the year. Absolutely amazing. Atomic Blonde trailer or reviews up, yeah, and also Emoji Movies tra uh, reviews up. Yes, we'll be back here though next week for three films. We got John Boyega, zoom, 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 oh, zoom not doing that. in Detroit. Yes, we have um, Dark. Dark Tower, Edge Stephen Elba King, and uh, Matthew McConaughey, and we also have Halle Berry and Kidnap. Yes, so we'll be back if you want to roll with us. Comment below, let us know. Or go check out this guy's channel. You can mm -hmm. get motivated, passionate, fired up about anything that you want to do with your life. Mm -hmm. And you could, you know, connect with this guy and then you come to all of our movie premieres with us. It's fun. Um, but unfortunately, you'll have to go outsourced for a ghost story. But trust me, it's worth it. Love it. ChasingSimmer.com's donuts. Film Lover's website.